Hello everyone. So today we are going to see numerical functions in Oracle SQL. So in that first one we have is absolute. So if you want to convert a negative value into positive value, then we can use this function. So let us see how can we do this. So here I am using SQL plus prompt. You can also use the SQL developer or any other thing. So here if I want to select here we'll use absolute of minus 12 from dual. So it will give us a positive value. So absolute is used to convert negative value into positive value. So here we go. Minus of 23 will be 23. So first one is absolute. So here we can see example. So if you want to select employee name salary commission and commission minus salary and you want this data to be positive then you can use here absolute commission minus salary from the employee then next one is seal so sealing means return a value which is greater than or equals to given value so sealing so in the house we have so upper part we generally see uh, this upper part and this uh, lower part so this we called as floor and this upper we call seal so ceiling means upper value so in the number 9.3 so what will be the upper value of 9.3 that is 10 so if that is an integer then it will give us that integer so seal will return a value which is greater than or equals to given number so if it is an integer then it will print integer otherwise if it is a float then it will print the greater value than that floating value so let us see example so here we go then clear the screen so select seal of 9.3 here we have to go 9.3 from dual so here we go now if i go here 10.4 so it should give us 11 so here you can see 11 next one is so next is floor so floor will give us the lower value so for 9.8 it will be 9 so for 10.8 it will give 10 10.2 it will give 10 so for integer it will give the same integer so let's see example of this so let me clear the screen and if you go here select floor of 10.2 from dual so here we go we can get here 10 now if i do here 10.8 it will give us a 10 if i give here a 10 it will give same value as 10 so this is about floor the next one is mod so mod is very important so it will give us the remainder so in the programming what we do 3 mod 2 so it will give us the remainder so same that will be done by this function called mod so this is the first number this is the second number we have to that means 10 modulo 2 so this will represent this function so 10 mod 2 will be 0 because 10 is divisible by 2 so remainder will be 0 in this 3 mod 2 will be 1 so let's see example of this how can we use that so select mod of 10 comma 2 from dual so here we go we can get 0 so if i do here 3 and 2 it should give us a what 1 because here what will happen 3 modulo 2 will happen so 3 modulo 2 the remainder will be 1 so this is the way we can use mod the next one is power so if you want to find the power of number so let's suppose we have 2 and we have to find the power of 2 power 3 so we can use this function called power so this is equivalent to this so 2 power 3 will be 8 so let's uh, see the example of this so clear the screen select power of 2 power 3 from dual so here we go 8 we are getting so if i do here 2 power 4 we should get 16 here we go 16 if we 
if I do here to power 5 we should get 32 so here we can see 32 now next function is round so round is the nearest value given as an expression so 5.50 so nearest value will be 6 so what will happen here 5.50 so nearest value will be taken as 6 next one is we can also round off things this so let's suppose 32.456 so we have to round off up to two decimal places so here we can give up to what places we have to round off so as 6 is greater than 5 so this 5 will be incremented and rounded off digit will be 32.46 because this 6 is greater than 5 then it should uh, increment if this is smaller than 5 then it will not increment so let us see the example of round so let me clear the screen now select round of 5.40 from 12 so it should give us a 5 now if i do here a 5.60 it will give us a 6 so here rounding operation will be performed if here greater than or 5 after decimal place then it will give us the next integer if here the uh, value will be smaller than or equal to 5 not uh, equal smaller than 5 then it will give us a lower integer so now if i want to round off up to decimal places so select round of 5.4 5 6 up to two decimal places from dual so what will happen it will round off up to two digit so how was 5.4 now this 5 will be incremented add this is a 6 and 6 is greater than 5 so its value will become 6 and up to two digit we have to round off so this will give us 5.46 so this is the way we can use round off round function so if you want to round off up to specific decimal places you can use after the number otherwise if you want to round off the number to integer then you can use this round the next one is trunk so it will return a value which will be specified number of decimal places so what is the difference between round and trunk so what will happen so here we can see it will give us the if you want to here we can see this is a number 32.456 and we have to round off up to two decimal places so in the round and in the trunk what will happen the round will give us 3.46 but trunk will give what 32.45 so it will give us the exact it will not perform round off on this decimal but while in the round it will perform round so let's see here you can see this is the same but only thing is here is it is rounding off but here it will give us the up to exact two decimal places so if i copy this and go to the sql plus here here we go 32.45 and uh, for these values let's see what we'll give here we can say 5 so only if you want to here if you want to up to specific decimal places that too without without rounding off then you can use trunk and if you want to value for rounding off up to specific decimal places then you have to use round so this is all about the this numerical function so what we have seen trunk then round then power mod floor seal and absolute so let's revise so absolute is used for converting negative to positive then seal is written the greater value or equals to given value then floor is smaller value it will return smaller or equal in case of integer in case of decimal it will uh, give us the lower value then mod so it will give us the remainder so 10 mod 2 that means if 10 is divided by 2 what will be the remainder 0 so then power so if you want to find the power of specific number so 2 power 3 here you can see 
then we can use power then round so nearest value given expression we can use round then trunk will return a value which is specified number of decimal places up to which decimal places you want to find the value without rounding off in that case you have to use trunk so these are the numerical functions we can use